We're back and we are ready for the next question, Ron. How can we send love and healing frequencies to individuals that need help? And it, is that process crossing dominions when we attempt to send it to them? Well, those are good questions. And just a consciousness of there's possibility of crossing dominions is a thought that needs to be addressed whenever you, it comes into your mind. In my opinion, the sending of love or anything else to other people is not crossing dominions because you're not taking over and doing something without their permission. It happens without their permission, but it's not influencing or it's not taking over their life experience or you're not crossing over into their domain by a lot of that crossing over in domain has to do with um, control, dominion and control. You're trying to exercise power over other people. That's where the real offensive nature of crossing over happens. And the heavens just will not tolerate that. There are circumstances or consequences as a result of that. And, and those consequences are system our body our whatever knows those kinds of things and if that's what we want then we get to have the consequences that go with crossing dominion so if it be very careful about that sending love to somebody is just you know how do you send love well the thought that you are loving and you want to send that love to somebody else it's the thought that creates the energy and that energy is felt by the other person, or can be, depending on the your capacity to create love and send it, and their ability to receive love, and and have it uh, help in what's going on with them. It's the thought process of sending the love that's exercising our real true value to other people. Sending love, they can feel it. If you're in love with somebody and you you tell them that you love them, that then they feel it. Those are the kinds of things that we need to focus on. If we're sending love and healing frequencies to somebody, it's in your thoughts. It's in your mind. And those thoughts in your mind uh, are traveled over to the individuals. And, and if they're open for receiving, then, then good things can happen. And you'll find that with people who are open to receive, uh, sometimes we, we are givers and not takers. We are givers and not receivers and sometimes we overload ourselves by giving to other people and giving like mothers do that all the time they give all of their love and then they're not appreciated and all this and and uh, it causes some concern but if there's true love there those things mom i love you i appreciate what you do for me that really is felt now, you've said it verbally with them there, but it's the same effect, even though you're not there, because you are a very, very, very powerful. And I'm going to call you a God. You are a very powerful God creator. I don't mean to be gender oriented here. The heavens are male and female. Androgynous is they don't go around as a male and female in a spirit form they're androgynous and so it's only in the separation consciousness where you can separate the male and the female and that's in third dimension or other physical dimensions and you, you're not limited in what you want to do there as well send your love send your healing influences if you feel those kinds of feelings then just say i send you my love i send you my healing influences for your cancer for your upset stomach for your stub toe those are the kinds of things that are helpful for us to express and to receive so giving and receiving is important to understand as a balance and if you don't have somebody who won't receive who doesn't receive it's really hard to get through but you still do it and that's the way you start opening people up to receiving love if love is sent then eventually they'll open up and start receiving it more effectively. I hope that helps. That's great, Ron. Very good. Um, I would like to follow up on this question with a quick one, but we're going to go ahead and jump to the next uh, section, and then we'll come back, and I'll just ask something very quickly about this. Okay. okay. Sounds good. Be right back. 